Good morning, guys. It is 8.45 Eastern on Wednesday, September 13th. Um, I'm just getting my day started here. Um, before I start, I wanted to talk about um, yesterday's chart, in particular these uh, three areas that I marked. Um, you can see they're all uh, failed second entry shorts. Um, it's a coincidence that they're all failed second entry shorts. It, what I'm about to talk about applies to all failures. Uh, what I noticed is that I stay out of these trades sometimes when there is um, immediate resistance to the left. Um, being a double top right here, being a double top right here, um, actually being a double top uh, right here as well and then further resistance up here early in the day. So this reminded me of something that Mac talks about in one of his um, premium content videos and he basically says that traps a lot of times get created in order to bust through a particular level of support and resistance and in essence what failures of a second entry are um, is traps they're traps they they're trapping traders to the downside here they're trapping traders to the downside here and here you can you can pretty clearly see it especially with these two bars how it shot down and, and came all the way back up and came out the other side so maybe I need to be a little bit more liberal with my rules in terms of you know these areas of um, resistance and vice versa areas of support if it was a failed second entry long um, I don't see a particularly good example of that you can count this, I suppose, as a fa failed second entry long, but there isn't really any immediate resistance until down here, and there's plenty of room to get out. What you do have here, and why I didn't take this trade, um, is you have you have the EMA right there, and I was kind of surprised that Mac marked this trade. Um, you know, I, I saw it. We all probably saw it, um, but I didn't take it because the EMA was flat to slightly s uh, sloping up. And this looked like looked like we're going sideways, kind of. Um, and this is kind of a neutral signal bar on my chart, at least. So I was surprised that that he marked this. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I wanted to just point out, you know, the fact that me personally, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive on these uh, failures. Um, you know, uh, this one, this one I saw develop and this one I saw develop yesterday as well and I didn't take either one because of the resistance next to it. Um, I saw this develop, I didn't take it because of the EMA. Um, this one um, I didn't see um, and like Chris pointed out apparently this just snapped up but since it is a failure you could just put your buy stop up here and that way you would have gotten into the trade. Um, whereas on this perceived second entry long here you know I would not enter with a buy stop that's that's too close for my for my taste so anyway I wanted to point this out about the failures hopefully that's helpful to somebody let's look at uh, what we have today um, you know one thing one thing I noticed is if you if you kind of draw something like this grabbing these swings um, we kind of we had a breakdown from here and uh, if you look on a if you looked on a bigger a bigger time frame uh, you'll see it even uh, more pronounced than this so that's something you know a piece of information that may be valuable um, so far we have you know we have a very clear downtrend from the overnight um, a top couple attempts to go lower but we're really going sideways there's a double top here you know there would have been a nice short opportunity right here but you know you have all this you have all this uh, resistance at that time so there's no way I can go short there uh, by now you can probably move this down here um, since it catches this and it catches this double bottom. Um, this is a pretty familiar pattern here. Um, I would say I would say that if you get if you get a lower high here with a, with a proper setup or maybe a breakout pullback, you know um, there's a good chance that that we catch the low of the day. Um, again, not, not trying to predict what's going on, but this this is a f is a fairly familiar pattern um, in the morning um, on the ES. 
probably something like this going on uh, currently. Um, I measured this leg, you know, just in case. Uh, really, well, it's the same thing. It's a double top. Um, this coincides with um, yesterday's low, so I thought that was interesting. Um, the last thing I wanted to point out: remember that we had this gap over here. Um, we gapped, we gapped up yesterday. I'm sorry, two days ago on Monday. We gapped up and uh, we haven't filled this gap. So I'm going to leave this on the chart. It's approximately 61 to 68. Um, hopefully it doesn't come into play today. Um, that'd be, you know, 22 point drop, but I'm just going to keep it on here. Um, just out of curiosity, I just want to see when this gap gets filled, um, if, if ever. You know, there's a lot of talk about gaps getting filled and I'm kind of skeptical about the whole thing. Um, I, I don't know any statistics, but um, I don't think that you can really count on gaps getting filled in any predictable, foreseeable amount of time. Um, obviously, they always eventually get filled, right? Um, but uh, I don't think you can base any trading decisions on that. At least I can't. All right. Um, so that's what I got for now. I just wanted to talk about, um, you know, what caught my eye yesterday. And... Um, yeah, let's see what uh, what comes out of this. Um, the open is about 30 minutes away. Um, it's Wednesday. It's oil inventory for those of you that are trading crude. Uh, be careful. You know, be out of the market. Um, crude hasn't affected ES uh, in a while. You know, so it's not really a concern for um, for the ES traders. I hope everybody has a very successful day, and I'll be back when I see uh, a decent setup.